So I've been talking about the iPhone 14 Pro a ton already today, but there's just so many key different things that are going on right now that are affecting the price tags of these iPhone 14 Pros. Now, the resale culture of pretty much every single product out there isn't, you know, new. It's been around for so many years. I will say recently it's been going crazy because so many different products that have been coming around. But the craziest thing is, is that with the iPhone 14 Pro, Apple actually made an announcement, I would say the best way to put it, basically like a week ago, stating that the iPhone 14 Pros essentially are, you know, going to be delayed by quite a bit of time. Now, three days ago, I went ahead and went into their Apple.com website, and I went ahead and actually typed in, hey, you know, I want an iPhone 14 Pro, the base model of everything. I spec'd it out with a gold color, and that iPhone wasn't even shipping until like December 20th at that point. That is a massive time away from where we are right now. So and that is probably the biggest thing to keep in mind, that the shipping delays are causing so many of these iPhones to be delivered even past the holidays, maybe not even until next year. So if you're wanting to get an iPhone, you know, you might want to order sooner but this is directly affecting the used prices of these iphone 14 pros and the iphone 14 pro maxes as well and the reason for that is because people are able to go ahead and basically buy these iphone 14 pros whenever they can get them and they can go ahead and resell them because people want them now you know people want to they're willing to pay a premium if they can get an iphone that is going to be you know delivered to them faster than what they can go you know buy it in the brand new market so i've seen tons and tons of iphone you know 14 pros being sold for eleven hundred dollars these are the base models eleven hundred dollars eleven seventy five i'm seeing here for one this one one terabyte 14 pro max eighteen hundred that kind of makes sense here's another one for eleven twenty eleven hundred for another iphone 14 pro these iphones here's another one twelve hundred there are so many of these iphones being sold for these prices that are just you know at a premium because they want these iphones as fast as possible so these used iphone prices are definitely going up I don't think this is going to directly affect the iPhone 14 Pro's price tags. I think those price tags are probably going to stay consistent, but I will kind of tell you this. If you're somebody who's wanting to go ahead and buy a brand new iPhone, you were in the market for a device and for some reason you want to go buy an iPhone 14 Pro right now, the best thing you can do is to order it as early as possible. If you do not want to have massive delays and or you don't want to go ahead and basically just pay a premium in the used market for a brand new phone, you might be better off if you just go ahead and purchase it in the brand new market take the delay like if you already know you want it before like february you might as well order it now and that is probably one of the best things you can do i'm not too sure how far these delayed times are going to go if they're going to extend but if they're going to go lower but if they end up extending which they might you might see these iphone 14 pros prices in the used market being up for quite a bit of time longer than usual so i'd love to hear your thoughts about this let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would be so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.